it, and it fails completely, you've always got the recording to fall back on. Um, so by way of introduction, my name is Will Durham. I'm the head of impact and corporate partnerships here at Governance for School. So I oversee a lot of the work that we do with our wonderful corporate partners, which is a, you know, a fantastic privilege and a joy. Um, I've been in the charity for a little under eight years. I have um, held various roles and in terms of my own governance experience, I am currently a trustee of a, of a single primary single academy trust down in Mid-Sussex where I'm based. And prior to that, I spent five years as a governor at, ma at a maintained primary school. So I'm fully on board of the absolute importance of school governance volunteering and the wonderful benefits it can bring to you as an individual. Um, I'm delighted to also be joined by Katie Higginson, who is the individual volunteering lead at Deloitte. We'll be talking a little bit about the work that they've done since they launched their um, school governor volunteering initiative way back in July 2020. And Alex Langford Pollard, who is a manager within Deloitte and is a chair of governors at King's Academy Pro Prospect and Reading, and is an exemplary example, you know, of the impact and, and what people can do, what can do when they're supported and go out to, into the school governance roles. And probably, I would say, is still uh, one of the younger school uh, chairs of school chairs of governors in, in the country. Um, so corporate partnerships for us, they sit right at the heart of our mission. If we go back way back to when the charity was first founded, this was sort of late 1999, just before, just before the millennium, just before the millennium hit. Um, the basic premise in which the charity was founded upon was we were go was to go out and build strategic relationships with businesses across London um, to encourage their staff to go out and, and volunteer in school in, in school governance roles across London. Now, over the over the years, that's obviously we are now a national charity. We work right across England and Wales, and all all state funded schools across England and Wales are, are able to use our service. Uh, but that core belief that we have, you know, that that, that, that of the importance of our of our building partnerships with the, with the business sector is still there. And it's still strong to this very, very day. You know, we know that it gives us access to fantastically skilled individuals. We know that schools ask us that schools are always asking us it's sort of skills like finance, HR background, change, strategic leadership. And we know that we can tap into the wonderful talent pools of our corporate partners to find people that have those, that have those skills in abundance and also, you know, have that drive and importantly are supported um, to be really, really effective in their school governance roles. They want who want to want to give back and benefited from fantastic educational experience and you know, want to be part of, of the system that gives back in the governance roles. As it stands currently, we have got 20 official corporate partners. And aside from that, we work with a wide range of other organizations, including uh, charities, government departments, and universities to develop school governments volunteering opportunities. And from our perspective, not to go too much into it, but we really do school governance volunteering as a win-win opportunity, as a role in which we get, in which we can give back to society, give back and you know, make sure that our schools um, are, are as strong as they can be, you know, lend our skills and our expertise back to them. Uh, you know, and support and support those wonderful parts of our local communities, but also get back. I know from my own personal experience, I'm sure Alex will agree with this when he speaks a little bit later, that my own governance role has given me a fantastic you know, access to both personal and professional development. It has allowed me access to professional experiences that I may not get in my day-to-day -day base that have really sort of helped me take leaps and bounds in my own career, my own understanding, how I can be effective in the work that I do in my in, in my own sector here at Governance for Schools. Uh, but it also that allows me to, you know, to develop as an, as an individual person, as I'm sure all of us who are governors on the call can can attest to. It really helps me get in tune with my local with my local with, with my local community, the people that live in it, the challenges that they're facing. You know, and actually get to know the world in which I, I live in that little little bit little bit better. And we'd really love for you to join us to join us on a mission. You know, and at the end of this call, I will share some links and sort of sites that you can check in the people here at Governor Schools that you could speak to if you want to explore setting up a school governor volunteering initiative and network within your own employer, which of course we very much hope that you do. Um, to touch then, so from our perspective, we really view our work with businesses and, 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 and corporate partners as a collaborative. We build individual relationships that sort of feed into, into each other and help us have this sort of fantastic collective impact. And I just want to touch really briefly on the campaign that we ran last year called the 125,000 Challenge, uh, which encompassed all of our corporate partners and allowed us to go out and work with, um, basically encourage and you know, have a real, really strong recruitment drive of all of our partners to really you know, drive up recruitment numbers and, and essentially place enough volunteers into schools to be collectively impacted the lives of 125 thousand pupils that attend those schools and you can see from the slide here that we were fantastically successful um we placed 287 volunteers into 281 different schools across 97 different local authorities and those individuals are collectively impacting 153,434 people to win those schools and that's just the impact we're having on a one academic year basis we would we replicate that year on year out and um, through the work that we do with our corporate partners um it, it really helps us demonstrate why 
why why we do this work. You know, forty four percent of the appointed volunteers in that in that cohort come from an ethnic minority. That is seven or eight times sort of the known known statistics that we have around there of, of people involved in who are from an ethnic minorities. In, in, you know, it, volunteering in school governance roles. If you watched our session earlier today about the case for inclusion, that's a, a fantastic thing there. And fifty three percent of those are under the age of thirty five, and eighty three percent are under the age of forty four. So it's really giving us access to people who are who are younger than the average, who, who are of a younger profile, younger age than the people we people tend to think of who are governing our schools. You know, bringing that sort of balanced perspective, people are that much closer to their education, just helping to sort of balance out the boards and make sure that young younger voices are being represented on school governance boards. And these volunteers bring the school, the still schools are looking for, and apologies for the typo on my slide there. Um, terrible, terrible, terrible of me. Uh, but they do bring up the skills as, as, as I touched upon. And for those who've downloaded the slides, you can read a report into the challenge by clicking the image below. And then before I hand over to Katie, at the heart of what we want to achieve with our partners is we, really, of course, we want to go out and we want to recruit people. We want them to help meet meet, meet the demands of, you know, of schools you know, that, that need vacancies. We know that school governor recruitment is getting is getting more difficult. We know that hasn't we know that hasn't changed for the better in recent years, and schools are still struggling a bit. And that is a really important part of it. But we also want to make sure that we work with our what work with all of our various sort of partners to develop internal school government networks to allow those who are volunteering roles to be as effective as, as possible. We're very conscious when we go out and have conversations with potential businesses and people who are considering becoming a school governor that it is an incredibly rewarding role, uh, but it's far from easy or without its challenges. And so by developing an internal school government network, such as they have a thriving example of that at, at Deloitte. You know, it really allows some individuals involved in it to support each other in their roles and through that inspire more and more colleagues and have that sort of you know have that knock-on effect of just inspiring more and more people to get forward and 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 you know and, and get involved in this really vital work. We really believe it's really important that governance should not take take place in isolation. So having people who are governors in different settings and potentially in different parts of the country based on you know, depending on how widespread your, your geographical reach is as, as an organization it, it is incredibly is incredibly important. It allows people to see the challenges that they're facing, how they replicate in different communities and different settings, you know, and actually have that opportunity both to talk about the challenges and the things that we face, but also celebrate all the successes and the great joy that we can find that we can find in a school governance volunteering role. And naturally, as you'd hope, you know, here at Governance Schools, we have a lot of a lot of individual staff and um, lots of us sort of individually volunteer as school governors. And so we very much practice what we preach and we have our own healthy school governance network at the charity and that's going to be used to you know to tap into each other's you know, the, the, the not inconsiderable expertise that exists across the organization as well as just to have a conversation about the state of things just have that opportunity to connect and, and benefit from each other's collective experience um, and the final point there it's really you know, just how a governance network can utilize sort of work that you're, that you're delivering i know lots and lots of our partners will utilize their school governor network to reach, you know, to reach out, you know, be it if it be it, you know, to reach out to partner schools to promote initiatives at work, to work like work experience, to promote sort of resources around that be sort of STEM, STEM resources or any kind of sort of educational outreach work that you want to do. Developing school government network from our perspective gives you access to this sort of ready-made group of people who are committed, who are in in engaged in schools, who can help you engage their schools and schools in their local communities uh, with the outreach work that you are trying to do. So from, from our perspective, it's a huge win-win-win-win situation, essentially. We win from government schools by developing these partnerships because it, you know, it allows us access to that. Volunteers win, schools win. And so we really hope that if you take away from this that you go that everyone goes away into their own employers that reaches out to us and have, have conversations about why you, you think uh, your employer should develop a school government network. And from that perspective, I am going to hand over to Katie, who's going to give a little bit of information about the work that they do at Deloitte. Thanks so much. So yes, my name is Katie Higginson and as Will mentioned, I look after individual volunteering at Deloitte as part of our 5 Million Futures programme. Um, 5 Million Futures is Deloitte's UK social impact strategy. Um, so we're focused on helping people overcome barriers to skills, education and employability. And we're aiming to get 5 million people to where they want to be by 2030. Um, 5 Million Futures also supports Deloitte's global world-class ambition to reach 100 million people by 2030. So I basically work with wonderful volunteers across our firm to support them to use their skills and their expertise to help others. And I joined Deloitte actually from Teach First um, in November last year, and I've been working with governors of schools ever since, helping to build on the three-year relationship that Deloitte has had with them. 
Um, so I want to start firstly by talking about where Governors for Schools sits within our organisation. So in the UK, we activate our 5 million future social impact strategy through partnerships with over 70 schools and charities focusing on three priority areas. So firstly, improving skills by closing the digital divide, then employability, so empowering underrepresented groups to access the world of work. And then finally, education, so building strong, sustainable school leadership. Our firm is um, built on the skills, on the expertise, on the engagement of our people, and they're constantly using and developing these skills to solve challenges that businesses are facing. And because school governance is a really serious skill-based commitment, it does really, really appeal to our people that are looking to professionally develop, all whilst enabling them to contribute key skills that directly improve educational outcomes. So the partnership really helps us to drive impact at scale. It supports our ambition to impact 5 million futures. And it also ticks a massive box around our objective around strong and sustainable school leadership. It also allows our volunteers to use their skills to give strategic support to drive maximum benefit. So our people are helping to set direction, navigate challenges and focus on really key priority areas that facilitate a positive learning environment. So things such as curriculum, mental health and well-being, inclusion, diversity and finance. Governors of Schools is also great as it's an opportunity that really can engage all grades of people. It is truly open to everyone, whether people want to just develop, um, that want to sort of build on our um, 5 million futures and support that, if they want to volunteer in their local communities, or if they want to develop in leaders that they might not be able to do in their kind of day-to-day -day jobs. Even those we found actually that aren't necessarily interested in purpose-driven work, it can expose them to societal issues outside of their daily bubble and it can actually inspire them to get further involved, which is fantastic. Um, we've seen great success in recruiting governors with a diverse background. I know Will's touched on some amazing figures. Um, we're really proud that at Deloitte, 53% of successfully appointed Deloitte volunteers last year actually came from ethnic diverse backgrounds, hugely above known national averages for the school governance sector. And 93% of Deloitte volunteers were under 44. Again, really helping to kind of bring different perspectives and more representation to boards, which is super important for the communities they serve. Governance to Schools also contributes to our culture and our purpose agenda. So through our people, this type of skills-based volunteering allows us to show our clients and the communities that we work in what we're all about. It shows we actively support these communities and how we strive to be an inclusive employer. And all of which is just fantastic to show what it's like um, at, at, at Deloitte, what the culture's like, which is great for the attraction and retention of colleagues. Since July 2020, 165 Deloitte employees have been appointed into school governance roles, collectively giving over 13,000 hours of their time to these schools each year, that they remain a governor and contributing around £240,000 in terms of the value in time and expertise given each year. Feedback from our volunteers, and I'm, as I'm sure you'll hear from Alex in a moment, has been super positive in many ways. Um, loads of them are using the opportunity to challenge themselves or to develop their skills for greater impact with clients, to support their communities and, and really grow their understanding of the issues facing schools. So how did we get here? Well, we built this community by promoting it on our central volunteer hub, um, which is a platform where we basically list all our volunteer opportunities. We also do lunch and learn style webinars supported by Governors of Schools, Will often comes along um, to run those. Um, these happen three times a year, and this is where we give people the chance to hear what the role involves. They can listen to current volunteers and ask any questions. We really did want to share this opportunity with everyone to support that diversification of Governor Boards, so we really do actively go out there and promote it to our variety of internal networks, so our Black network, multicultural, gender, LGBT. TQ plus networks. And finally, we have a group of ex Teach First teachers who still work at the firm that really, really um, maintain an interest in all things education. Many of them are governors themselves and also support our promotion by speaking about their experiences and how the role has helped them. And then moving on to these networks that Will kind of mentioned, we support our governor volunteers in the form of our own governor network and they've got their own Teams channel. And this helps all current and new governors, whether matched by governors for schools or not, to share knowledge, information and challenges. 
it's also a really good way of promoting all the governors for school webinars campaigns news and training that they provide us so generously with um, and we have quarterly networking calls that we open up to anyone within the group um, this is basically an open forum for people to get advice and talk freely about any successes they're having or any challenges also at Deloitte people are allocated three and a half hours um, of volunteer time a month and they can use this to um, to be a school governor and lots of our, our governors have said back that they have really loved having that dedicated volunteer allowance it's helped them juggle being a governor alongside work and has given them that sense of permission to dedicate time towards it which has been great we are just super proud of our network of governors uh, last year alone 75 Deloitte employees were appointed into governance roles across England and Wales and as of today, we've actually got 76 employees in the process of taking on a school governance role via Governors for Schools. So in short, it's broadened our offer. It fulfills professional development objectives for our people around soft skills, such as leadership, influencing. It gives an excellent all round chance for them to develop board skills. It really does align with our social impact strategy. It has elevated our education support, making our approach more holistic addressing support not only for teachers but school leaders and pupils themselves and as such it helps us to really differentiate ourselves in the market and has given us a powerful story that we can tell our clients which is only getting stronger as our impact grows over the years. I hope that is a kind of useful taster of what we get up to and a useful summary of our work and um, I will now hand back over to Will but look forward to answering any questions that you may have shortly. Brilliant. Thank you, Katie. And yeah, such a such a joy to hear here again. I always enjoy hearing those statistics from Deloitte about you know, the impact it's had and how many people are in the process for this year. Another wonderful year for our partnership lies ahead. And I'm now and I'm delighted to hand over to Alex, who is going to talk a little bit about his own experience as a governor, um, you know, and you know, and how and how that's been supported by his own sort of uh, employment at Deloitte. Perfect. No, cheers, Will, and cheers, Casey, for that. Um so I'm a manager at Deloitte, I'm based in the Reading office, and I work within the Audit and Assurance Group. I've been a governor for the last two and a half years, so I was appointed quite early on in the partnership, and um, I've been a chair of governors uh, for the last year and a half, and that's at King's Academy Prospects, based in Reading, which is a large, um, is part of a large multi-academy trust. Um, and I'm on the local governing boards at the school. So if I kind of take my journey from start start to end, I joined, once I joined Deloitte, I knew I was quite keen to get involved in this new network, Governors for Schools. Um, and I reached out, as Casey's already mentioned, through our volunteer hub. And I was put in contact with Governor for Schools. And they really took ownership of the process um, from start start to end so i had support of my deloitte colleagues um but then also governors for schools the the way it started was through the flexible working policy and knowing about the three and a half hours that we have each month in order for volunteering i was like this would be a great use of my time so once i was along the process the governor for schools would um reach out to me and they put forward a number of schools that would possibly be of interest and that would be matching in my skills, my personal and professional motivations, and then also the needs of the individual schools. So then after I'd gone through this process, I was appointed. And this isn't where the support stopped. So not only at Governor for Schools, but also at Deloitte. So as Katie's already mentioned, there's um, a great network at Deloitte where we've got our team's network. But also not only this um, from the word of mouth you often find within your individual departments within your individual offices you start to widen your own network and so i started connecting with partners and also senior leaders in my office that i probably never would have come across in my day to day um, but through the governor for schools network i was able to broaden my network and they were providing support on that initial step that i took forward and then Further on from that, from a governor for schools perspective, the amount of resources um, is probably countless. Well, I don't know how many exactly how many articles you've got, but I'm sure there's I'm sure there's hundreds, um, and um, that's provided a real stepping stone for me over the last two and a half years to develop my own personal skills and my professional skills in this area. Um, so then, if I think about 
my personal motivations to to initially start and then also to continue um as we've mentioned it's all about giving back to the community i'd been living in reading for the last um six years and it enabled me to get in touch with my local community a lot more um i was i'm originally from cambridgeshire and i thought it'd be a great way to meet new people in the area from a professional perspective sorry if my dogs are barking in the background by the way <laughs> from a professional perspective um it enabled me to develop my critical thinking skills and the biggest area i developed was um as i think will mentioned earlier was strategic thinking so as i developed my own career at deloitte and hopefully go on further um by being a governor it gave me an early insight and experience to strategy which you wouldn't normally see until later on in my career. Whereas at this moment in time, at manager level, I was able to see it this early on. For other skills that come hand in hand with the role, collaborating with others, a key a key part of it, as Will's mentioned in relation to the different skill sets you get, whether it be finance, HR, you're, you're working with people with a variety of different backgrounds. And that that's something that, we also strive to achieve at Deloitte and through being a governor at um, at King's Canary Prospect is also given me experience of working with different people of different skill sets um, and a different background. Now, if I go, go on to probably the benefits, so spoken about my professional ones, my personal benefits, but now last but not least, the school itself. So when I initially took on the role, I was very much focused on the finance aspect and it was very much that I could, it was in my control of how much, um, how many hours I spent on the engagement. So you could um, probably take on loads of schools or for my, in my case, I took on one school. I wanted to be focused and I wanted to utilize my three and a half hours per month as effectively as possible. I took on the finance role and I was within uh, the finance focus for one year. And then shortly after that, I was asked to become chair of governors. Um, and surprisingly, quite short after becoming chair of governors, I had my first Ofsted inspection. So within um, six months uh, around that period, um, obviously trying to make as many positive changes as possible in my new chair role, I had Ofsted on my door. Um, luckily after that, so um, as a result of the inspection, We'd gone from a requires improvement school of which it had three previous Ofsted inspections that were requires improvement, being requires improvement for the previous eight years. And then we um, had been upgraded to a good school and now with outstanding in leadership. So that was a um, really big achievement for the school. And it was a testament to um, the support that governors for school and also Deloitte have provided me to in relation to not only training, but also the time availability and also probably a good, uh, as Will, you'd know, uh, listening to all my questions, a good ear that I've got from both Deloitte and Governor for Schools. So overall, um, the role has been hugely impactful in my own career. It's um, developed not only um, my skills, but also my, hopefully my reputation within the firm of being known for Governors for Schools. Um, working as a governor and then also um, for contributing to my local community, which has been a big focus of not only Deloitte, but also of myself and for governor for schools. Um, but yeah, Will, I think that's probably it from my, my own story. So in summary, it's obviously there are always hard questions that you get from Ofsted. And so if I sat here and said that was the most enjoyable part, I probably would be lying. But the support that I've had from governors for schools and from Deloitte in my role has enabled me to develop so much further than I possibly could have imagined three years ago when I initially took on the role. Thank you so much, Alex. And I think that is, you know, just a ringing endorsement of what can be achieved through these partnerships. You know, we talk about, so often we talk about statistics, you know, in, in, in the big picture we launch, you know, what, what does it mean to have 75 people appointed into school governance roles? Obviously as a charity, we place over 2000 volunteers each year and it always gives us deep joy to, to hear you know to hear actually what the, what each of those placements is someone like yourself 
you know, going out going out into the school community you know, and then with, with the support that obviously that we make available but also you know the wonderful support given by Deloitte you know, that empowers you to be you know to be so effective and have such you know such a degree of, in, of impact in your role I think is an absolutely ringing endorsement you know exactly what we've been talking about in the session so far you know why we go out and build and build these partnerships and I would say um, you know, if anyone um, would like to read a little bit more about Alex's story in, in, in the written form, he does feature as one of our governor stories that we released a few months ago around era. Uh, um, so you can find out on our website on the on the about on, on the about us on the about us section of our of our website. Um, I can see that we have a question, so I'll start moving over to questions. Um, so one we've got one is this is this, is this a national program? And I think yeah, absolutely. So we a government school is a national charity. We work across things in Wales. I know Deloitte. We place Deloitte volunteers you know, right across the country. Obviously located in and around the tends to be where there tends to be sort of Deloitte offices or sort of uh, yeah, and places like that. But it is very much a national program where we work across. You know, and we work right across things in Wales. And I think it's actually quite good there to. Just talk a little bit about what it is that we do here at Government Schools for those who aren't familiar. So essentially, we act as a brokerage there between schools looking for uh, volunteer, looking for volunteers with specific skills goals, and those volunteers. So Alex, when Alex, when Alex applied to us, we'd look into all the all the opportunities that we had available in Reading. In Reading, self evaluation. We we have you know, a system where we can understand you know what the, the schools will be for Alex with his skills and his background would have felt would have added most value. And then we could suggest that we could suggest both schools to Alex and then make a suggestion to him as a volunteer. So our role in this is very much bringing people together from both sides, doing that sort of bespoke bespoke matching, and then providing all of the ongoing support that, that we do, and also signposting people to the wonderful support that exists that exists across the wide the wider sector. So at the heart of it, that's what we're doing here at Governance Schools. We're going out. We when we're working with businesses to and and any other number of organisations and all the other ways that we recruit volunteers to find people with transferable skills and matching them up with schools within their local communities, sometimes further afield, you know, people are sometimes further afield, but generally within their local communities who most who are most in need of the skills that they can bring. So we have a very considered approach to, to the work that we do and we can work with you um, as, as, as an employer to target, you know, to target uh, placement of volunteers in areas that you want to most or schools that fit sort of certain profiles, you know, be that schools with higher levels of students for whom English is an additional language or those who fall, who benefit and sort of who, who, who have access, who, who are giving people premium funding or, you know, schools in, you know, generally schools in sort of you know, less deprived, less deprived communities, as it were, we can work with you to sort of, to sort of develop that because of the bespoke way that we, the way, way that we work. All of your all of your volunteers will have a named named contact here at it's governors of schools who is based regionally and, and leads our work in, in their local area um, and you know and they'll be going through that process to make sure that we're always finding the most meaningful matches uh, for you and your people um i've got a question then uh this is for you katie how does deloitte showcase the fabulous work that they're doing with governors of schools um, and also, were people aware of the role and its benefits before your before before your partnership in your in your view? Thank you. Um, so we constantly work with our sort of internal comms teams to make sure the story of governors for schools is um, shown to everyone. Um, so a big part of that is using the impact report that governors for schools um, sends over as part of the service. Um, we can really easily from that create headlines such as how many hours our governors have contributed, what that equates to in money and other stats that we wouldn't necessarily maybe have even thought about such as the, the, the diversity, sorry, of governors. Um, this means we can really easily share stories and stats to attract more people and creates a really strong narrative, which is fantastic. Um, we, you know, like to share specific case studies as well. Alex is one of our strongest case studies. So he's been on our Deloitte internet page and that caused a huge spike of um, people um, signing up on our volunteer hub. So I think actually telling that personal story and showing that it can work um, alongside a busy day to day really, really does help. Um, so yeah, we're constantly shouting about our statistics um, and telling the story from a personal perspective. Um, I'm not too sure if people are aware because I only joined last year, but I'm sure they prob probably had heard of it. Um, but people were basically crying out for more skills based volunteering from what I've heard. And it plugged that real need, um, especially kind of during COVID um, for an, a strong enough offering that our people were asking for. Katie, just to add on to that, I think another big way how Deloitte showcases within our own individual smaller communities that are local, right? For example, Reading, we often have meetups and we often will talk about 
the volunteering opportunities and governor for schools often features there if i think about our most re recent one and so that's internally showcasing it as well yeah and just to add to that really good point the lunch and learns work really well because a lot of people hear about it but have naturally questions so having those set in are a really good way of people just calming their nerves before submitting the application and hearing from people firsthand again that have, have done it so really do recommend the lunch and learns as a way of passing on that information brilliant yeah and i think and something that works really well those lunch and learns that we're always keen to do and examples of alex's story and, and the other sort of um you know, volunteer sort of case studies if you like or governor stories that we that we that we develop is it's really good to use people's lived experience so whenever we run a lunch and learn for deloitte and, and as much as we possibly can with all of our other sort of partners we will bring along people who are already serving in school governance roles to talk about to talk about the role from their perspective and really help bring it to life for their colleagues so you can really tap into the experiences that you know that your people are having as you develop as you sort of develop further and so yeah and so from that from that impact reporting perspective thank you very much for the kind those kind <laughs> words about the work that the work that we do katie so we're very committed to the organization we want to help you understand the impact that your that, that your people are having you know the, the the difference that they're making on you know and how they're helping us um achieve our mission our mission to ensure that every school has access sort of effective and excellent sort of school school governance boards that you know that, that are diverse that are diverse in nature and i think it was actually it was about almost 30 applications we had in a week after alex's uh governor governor story went live so it was quite it was quite the big so it really does work you know putting a public face to it and i think from that perspective you know what's also wonderful about developing school governor initiative is you'll find you know people lots of people become school governors via any via, 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 via their own route and so it's actually it's a way you can bring into you can bring into people who are already doing this valuable work you know off their own back who found their own route in the school governance be that you know, who just found, found you know who found their own way to a school governance role so you can actually build them in bring them bring them into the loop and build this network both for people that we've that we've helped you appoint but also those people uh, and those people who sort of been doing who've been doing the role of their own face or any 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 number of years you can then lend their sort of considerable uh, you know, expertise that they develop over that period of time to the wider to the fledgling governor network. Um, I can see then typically how many school governor agencies are there at any point in time, which is a really good question uh, that's been asked there. So we know uh, that the data on this isn't 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 fantastic. So I can't give exact absolute figures, but we know that roughly uh, there's anywhere between sort of twenty to twenty five thousand governor vacancies at any given point across the country. Here at Governors and Schools, we receive around just over sort of six thousand governor vacancies on in, in, in any in any given year. So we know that schools are divinely, but actually it's a small part of that. And just from our perspective, you know, we think that each one of those sort of each one of those governor vacancies is really, when you think about it, it's just a missed opportunity uh, for someone, you know, to give back their time and expertise, to give back their knowledge, sort of lend you know, to lend what they know to a school to help make sure it's as good as possible. And it's also a missed opportunity for those individuals to you know to to to, to gain access to the wonderful opportunities that school governance volunteering brings. And um, so there is a real and genuine need for sort of you know more people to step forward into school governance roles, and that's one, and that's why we're always looking to build new relationships, new partnerships, and hopefully with some of you who who you know who on who are on this call today, if not if not all of you, why not be optimistic about it and aim high, uh, you know to actually help 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 us address that need because there is a real and ongoing sort of need uh, for new for new for new people to step forward and support schools in this most valuable role. As a context that is, you know, there are around, over around there are around two hundred twenty five thousand people or so that are currently serving in school governance roles. So I didn't get that part of the statistic. It's around sort of 10 percent of, of of positions that are vacant. But you know, we want to fill as many of those as we possibly can. Um, so I wonder, I wonder, Katie, it would be really interesting, actually, just from your perspective, I know something that comes up with, from your perspective, you know, when, when you're running the school government initiative, as you, as you do, as you do at the law, you know, how, how much of your time is, is, is you know, is, is spent, is spent on that? Yeah, so the great thing uh, about governors of schools is they do all the hard work once you've actually recruited the volunteers, which is fantastic from someone managing it. Um, so once someone signs up, we then introduce them to governors of schools and we know basically they're taken care of right until they find a school and beyond. Um, stuff that I do is I add the volunteers to our Deloitte Governors Teams channel. Um, and I would say the channel, if you're interested in running something similar, takes I would say roughly less than an hour a week to manage. So like replying to queries, adding new members and posting any updates. But in the long run, 
um, it saves so much time compared to say emailing everyone um, and you get really quick responses um, if people have got queries and it builds that collaboration and that community without much intervention at all. So I definitely think it's a really easy way of getting your network up and running um, and letting people run with it basically. Brilliant. And then a, a, another question that, you know, that, often, that often comes up from, from our perspective when, we, when we're talking to people, how easy is it then, do, do you find, and actually maybe you, you can speak about this from your own personal experience as well, in, in things like this, the wonderful sort of volunteering leads of 3.5 hours a month that people can use to sort of, you know, to, to dedicate to these roles. How easy is it to communicate those ac across the organisation? Do you ever come up against any resistance from like individual teams or managers as, as part of that? Um, yeah, I can start and then Alex, you can maybe chip in, but like any company, we obviously face a few challenges around getting everyone to volunteer. Um, we are client focused and it's not always the top of everyone's to-do list, given the nature of our work and meeting clients needs. But I do think having that three and a half hours that people know they can definitely have every month gives people that permission. And, and that really does support when we come up with any challenges. Um, we are also fortunate that um, as a firm, um, people and purpose agenda is really firmly at the, the center of everything we do in our culture. Um, so as I mentioned previously, we work really hard to create those stories which show the impact, which again helps um, when getting people to adopt this volunteering mentality. Um, but Alex, yeah, have yeah. you had any? No, 100% agree. Yeah, 100% agree on that. Um, it's, it's very much embedded in our, in our culture. Um, and it's it's more than seen as acceptable it's strongly encouraged and i think that's where you aim to get to um as an organization that you're not only accepting that people take three and a half hours or how how many hours per month that they want to contribute you're actively as katie and her team does are encouraging people to take this time off do something that's slightly different from your day-to-day -day, where if i'm completely honest like I, I don't think many people would say, oh, I want to do, would turn down doing like two, three hours, something totally different to your day to day in a month. And it gives you a total fresh, um, fresh perspective on things when you then return back to work. And I think that's a big reason why we <clears throat> strongly encourage this is because not only do, is there the benefit to the schools, uh, and sort of wider local community, there's an active benefit in Deloitte of I come back with my own, my own views as a result of the learning that I've taken from these three and a half hours and contribute to the business even further. So, so and as well as developing my own skills. So it is a win, as Will say, said so often, it's a win-win for, for everyone, not only the school, but also the individual and for the organization that works that's working as well. Brilliant. And I think that is a point that is absolutely worth repeating time and time again, as I did. It very much is a win-win-win situation for all. You know, it, 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 it works wonderfully. Um, so we're moving towards the end of the session. I just wonder, Alex, sorry to put you on the spot slightly here. If you could think, if you could think of sort of three three words that you know that would best exemplify you know, what your experience of school governance would that would those be? Um okay, three words. Yeah, that is <laughs> <laughs> definitely on the spot to put me there um i would say um it's been so this two words will be one of my words so highly positive um is is one of them De developmental um i think is another one and i think enjoyable is uh my my final one and kind of expanding on those those three a bit more um starting on enjoyable from from initially taking on the role to, to where I am now, you have such a range of experiences as being a governor from from the diversity of people that you work with, um, but then also from the students that you meet. And that's once you see the end outcome of the positive impact you have on the local community, that's what really makes it enjoyable. And then going on to developmental, I think, this is kind of two pronged. Not only do you, are you developing the school or also the company that you end up that you're working for. So in this case, um, in my case for Deloitte, because I come back with positive skills, but I personally develop my professional skills. I come back with better critical thinking skills, better ability to collaborate, and then finally, highly positive. Um, and 
I, I, the reason I put highly in front of it rather than just positive is because not at one stage of just from applying and going through our volunteer hub all the way to where I am now, has I have I ever been in doubt of, oh, do I want to take on this role? It's very much encouraged by all and the support. Initially, I was worried how much support do do you get in one of these roles because they are very individual to the school, individual to the person, and that's but that's why actually makes it a perfect role to take on because the support that governor for schools and also Deloitte offer is it's yet generic enough that they're able to support me in my individual circumstances, but it's individual enough that it provides enough support for you to springboard off that and make hopefully a success of whatever school you're put into. But yeah, well, that was my three words that weren't, weren't quite three. Brilliant. Well, no, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Um, brilliant. So I think we're, we are fast moving towards the end of the session. I'm well aware that we've got a very important final session today where we're encouraging people to become school governors. So I don't want to overrun. So you'll get set up for that. In terms of, let me just scroll back through. So if you're interested in learning more, uh, you can visit the corporate partner section of our website where you'll find a lot more information about, about the work that we do and how we work, how we work with corporate partners. And you can reach out to me or a member of the team. So our email address is there myself. Uh, my, my colleague Judy, who's the head of charity development, or Andy Nisbetville, who works with us both and sort of helping deliver this, uh, delivering this bespoke service to sort of uh, to to all of our to all of all of our wonderful partners. Um, and I will, and we've been more than happy to sort of, you know, pick up pick up conversations with you, and talk you through. You know, we're very we're very conscious that you know when we build, we want to build an individual partnership with businesses that really works, that really works the best the way that you want to work help to target the way that we do and as part of that they bring you into the into the white into the wider into the wider work that we do and sort of help have that sort of wonderful collaborative impact that we that we that we were talk, that i was talking about and um, via the medium of 125,000 ch challenges as an example of that and um, so we do have a set way of working um you know set ways of working but we're very very flexible within those we have sort of various partnership levels that are available to you and i'd be more than happy to send you anyone across sort of more information that they that they that they may wish to as part of that. Um, I don't know if uh, Kate, Kate or Alex, if you've got any sort of final points that you want to make or a final message to our audience today before we sort of sign off for the session. Just can't praise governors of schools highly enough, basically. Um, and it's added so much to to Deloitte. So yeah, definitely recommend it for anyone in doubt. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, agree with Katie. Um, highly positive and uh, I recognise those sentiments 100% as well. Brilliant. Thank you both so much. And I think on that wonderful, on that wonderful note, I don't think there's a really huge amount more that we could say that we could say in this session. Um, it was an absolute pleasure to work alongside you and all and all of our partners, you know, and thank you uh, for the very valuable contributions that you make to, to our mission, to our mission. We are very much a collaborative organisation. There's absolutely nothing that we could do in isolation. And we, you know, so we love, we love the relationships we build and we love celebrating them. And we'd love to build those relationships with you and, and celebrate those down the line, you know, as we start to deliver this wonderful impact.